Can I just take a teeny bite of your tortilla? These are what you need. Yes, we have ascertained that you are happy. I, get. I know, I'll, it'll be really small, I'm serious. I've now spilled. I just don't like tacos very much. I don't think they're that interesting. They don't What's challenge me. About it? You know what you should do? Okay. They don't challenge me. Now I'm gonna cut that in. Mm -hmm. When you watch the video, I'm gonna make it look like the most natural thing in the world. Are you? Because my arm is like this. That's uh, fine, Helena. The worse you look, the better it is. Do you see what I mean by thin burritos? You want to try to buy it? Looks like you just ate tortilla. You started taking it out before I took the bite. Good. Who knows how far you would have gone. All you got is like a little bit of the tortilla and french fries, but even that is good. But it was good, right? I told you to- what did I tell you, Dominique? What did you Why do? did you give the last place a three? Um, it just isn't the type of food that you give more than a 3.52. You should try it. It's really good, but it's like good in like a di it's like a diner food. Like, would you really give Harry's more than a 3.5? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. No. No carne asada should be as dark. Put it right in here. Just throw it in. Just throw it in. Just toss it right there. Give it a throw. No, don't, don't! Uh -huh. That was a completely separate arm that did that. I don't know what that means. Did you know that the left side of your brain controls the right side of your body? Is that true? You could um, punch someone. Say, I'm so sorry, I just went to the doctor and I said the left side of my brain isn't working. And then they shoot you in the left <laughs> side of the head. But this is good. Wait. I don't really like papalaka. Okay. What's papalaka? Excuse me. I have to actually think about whether or not I like this burrito. So, for, like, with regards to tacos in the world, or in the United States, it's really good. But compared to other San Diego tacos, it is it's the fun. most basic level. It likes flavor. It likes texture. No, Here's I what I'm saying. Like I actually well, really I had a like fish taco, but it literally just like it was just like tomato, cabbage, and fish. And here's what I say. Yeah. Well, it's a fish taco, Dominique. What do you I want? Know. Meat in it? No, chipotle sauce on it would be nice. Here's You're the saying thing. that they're not their food truck because they're not. So he, that is so spicy. In the green. Oh my goodness. Can I say something? Please, can I say one thing, everybody? That is Thank awful. You. So here's what I say about this, okay? My the hair is All right, that's great. The tortilla is like, has like, it like, wasn't it smoky? Would you, would you describe it by you? It tasted as smoky? Whatever. Mm -hmm. It's got like a little bit, not like charred, but like a little bit of like the burny taste. I don't know about the fries. The fries are kind of just there. They're like not, it's like McDonald's fries. They're not what you really need in a burrito. Right. Here's the thing. The fries are good. They're like MSG um, fast food. Thank you, Maddie. They're like MSG fast food fries. You're like those teachers where when someone's talking, it's like, thank you for being quiet. <laughs> and then they quiet down and you're like, good. It's still so Bertozzi, you know what I mean? I don't think I've ever had one of, um, I didn't even realize this is a Bertozzi place. No, but you know what I mean? Because Rigoberto is like still... Ha is like it's like tortilla, meat, French fries that are like yeah. fast foody. It's this I, essentially similar. I gotta say though, wait. The car needs um, to go stop pause. I need to make an intellectual thought happen, and then I need to articulate it. I I, I born five nine, and you were born five four. Actually, five three without heels. Right. Um, but let me just say, the carne asada is super marinated. And like, no. Um, yeah, on mine it no. is. No. On mine it is. No. And that's like important. Mine was marinated and other carne asada. That's important because other things that are less flavorful, like the fries, like can like dissipate taste. 
But the fact that this is so like hyper marinated, here I'll give you a piece. Mine was not. All right, try that. Tell me that that's. I'm not gonna put it in your mouth. That is so different than my carne asada. What did I tell you? I said get a burrito. Would you do not? Something about me and burritos. Made you think. It is called Roberto's Taco Shop, though. They always yeah, say that. Yeah, imagine burrito That's for the basic burrito restaurant. I'm, okay, I'm glad okay. to see cheese in here. I will say. Let me say one last thing and then you can talk. That's so spicy. No guac in it. Like, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like dried. First of all, very few shrimp. I think I've gotten like one or two shrimp. So it's definitely not like a surf in California. The cheese is like good. You know, I don't know. Is it cheddar? Is it jack? It's not not good with tea, but it's good. It's like a fast food Berto's burrito, but done as well as you can possibly do it. I have to say, the best Mexican food, I'm not kidding, comes in this tin foil. Mm -hmm. It's like the pre-cut one. It's this specific I mean, tin foil. It looks like a gremlin used it to wipe his butt after pooping in the forest. That's what happens when half your taco doesn't come on your taco. I got my face shaved yesterday. What? And I think that's messing up my taste buds. Your face shaved? Yeah. What does that mean? Is that like a trendy term for like a... Like full chemical peel of every part of your face? It wasn't a chemical peel, it was used with a razor. Is this real? Yeah. It was a derm... It was not with a razor that you use on like your legs. It was called dermaplaning. And it takes the dead skin off and um, your like hair. I don't have hair on my face. Okay, let that be Not known. anymore. <laughs> Not after <laughs> the dermaplaning. Let that be known. I, I don't ever have hair on my face. But we all have like a little bit of everyone, not just me. Kylie Jenner has hair on her face. Don't include this. It's getting included. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is the best performance of the year. You do like just look like a completely different person without the mustache. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dominic looked at me the other day and she goes, You have whiskers. <laughs> As you know, favor. <laughs> oh man, look at this shrimp. Mm -hmm. You know what I love? They keep the poop sack in it. You can see it. And that's literally the most flavorful part of the shrimp. I don't know how you can eat that salsa. It is so spicy. I Thank you. That. To me, that's a big combo. Is Maddie. Her... Hey, would you like some green chili stew? Oh, me dad makes this lovely green chili stew. And I eat it and I'm about to explode. You're welcome, by the way. Thank you. First, I gotta start with my the, the intro I do every episode. Hey guys, and welcome back to Burritos yeah, Reviews. That, that isn't good. Burritos Reviews. So this is Jack. This is my friend. He's just started his YouTube channel. It's a little bit of gaming, a little bit of political commentary. You really can't. Can you plug them? them? So what? What? So I went to Roberto's, and I thought it was not delectísimo. And you said, no, señor, si es muy bueno. And I said, okay. so tell me what. Make your case for Roberto's. I can, do, I can do a close up on you for this part if you'd like. And you have to, there you go. Right now, Roberto's is, I would say it's my f favorite burrito. Right now, as in, in the last two weeks or of all time? In the last month. I don't know. I can't. I would say it's the burrito. If you were asked me to, if you were to ask me today, which burrito would you most prefer to eat? I would say it's Roberto's. And which burrito from but there is specifically? It is the most accessible burrito to me because it is. About it two is moments the away. closest burrito place to my house. So when I went there, I got the California burrito. From what Which I can tell, the fries, had. the fries, it was the surf in California. The fries were a little cheap, and it was not, the carne asada was so good. Did it have shrimp in it? Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm going to get today. So what do I, I get? I think you should get the carne asada burrito. That didn't have shrimp in it. There's no shrimp in it. 
And to fill up your stomach, I would also get a side of rice and beans. Because you're <laughs> gonna at least admit the one flaw that Roberto's They has. are huge burritos. No. But they're not tiny burritos. Mm -mm. They're teensy tiny no, burritos. All right. It's hot. I'll say one thing about the good people at Roberto's. It's a dense burrito. It's not, it's, it's not, not, not a, a lot of it's air It's not a it. tiny burrito. I don't know about that. This, see, to me, this is small. I can see, I think this is really good. But you can see why I'm more You're gonna like that. Okay. The nice legs on it. And the red sauce is very good too. There's something so intoxicating and overwhelming about the smell of a fresh burrito. The tortilla. I went to the Mexican market today. <laughs> it was what so you, yeah. good. I got spices, I got sweet, I got barbacoa, I got fresh tortillas, and that's it. From the... What? From the butcher you got barbacoa? It's not really, it's not really easy to open it's salsa spilled. containers. So that's okay, because this is my mom's car. It's your friend's mom's car. So you spill it, so it's a drama. How, how does the shrimp? Because what I remember is the, the shrimp, shrimp is not as good as the carne asada. But the... The carne asada is very good, and I... I, I understand what you're, what you're talking about, but I feel like you're gonna like it. The carne asada is not the same as when I had it in that. And when I had it in that, it was like very flavorful very marinated, and here it's a little bland. Really? I'm gonna just tell I you. I don't think that's true. You wanna take a bite? Yeah, but I, I just, take a I bite. know it's not Take a bite, true. take a bite. I hope it's true. I hope it's true so I don't come across like a, like a meanie head. I just really see, see if you see what I'm saying. I smell it and I know it's good. <laughs> you disagree? That's so good. Wait, let me think about it then. I don't wanna be wrong on this I don't know what. Hold on. I think you're just calling the flavor that it has, you're identifying it with blandness. But it's not, it's a, it's a seasoning. And it's very tender. The corn, that's what, that's really their strong suit, is how tender the carne asada is. And the little pieces of cooked onion. I uh, know, the onion I'm a big fan of. It, it, it's, I think their carne asada is really good, and it all sort of breaks apart right in your mouth. You're not eating chunks. I don't like this business of strips of carne asada that come out of the burrito this, this tall. You pull it out there. You've never heard me advocate for that. Carne no. asada. That's a lot. What the, some of the burritos have that. This is all. It's all broken up. It, it all falls apart. I have a question. If you wanted to sympathize with my position on that burrito, what would you the say? The shrimp about isn't it? good. Really? Yeah. I thought that. Do you remember when we got shrimp burritos from here? I need to come back for the shrimp. I thought the shrimp here is very good. Oh, it's not bad. But... I just got a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the carne asada, which I've been getting a lot of, but it was good. I got like a good bite. I think you need to learn how to. I will. I'm learning. Love the carne asada. I'm learning. Hold on, give me a second. And use the make use of the red sauce. You've been given that red sauce. I am. Hold on. That's as low as I can go. Oh, this day's just not going my way. I ate the entire grilled shrimp burrito. I went back, I got it, I ate it. Unfortunately, it couldn't be here for this part of the review because I was so thrown off and unhappy. That part of the review just came across as very sad and depressing. I didn't want to put you guys in a bad mood. So I pepped myself up. I had a large tortellini dinner last night, followed by cereal and alphabet cookies for dessert and then a brownie for my second dessert and then a third brownie for a snack and I'm pepped and I'm ready to explain. I realized why I was praising the shrimp at Roberto's so much and so adamantly, constantly. It was a case of mistaken identity. I was thinking of La Perla. La Perla's, La Perla's shrimp is very good. Um, in reality, the experience I had at Roberto's was uh, the shrimp were not seasoned. This, I'll, I'll just go to here, cut to the show my here's me eating the burrito, right? 
This is my experience. This is my reactions. Some funny takes. Some funny clips. Um, and the burrito itself, the burrito itself, had shrimp, rice, cabbage, and then this nice little tomato onion compote thing. It was like a Baja style burrito, um, very much in the style of um, that uh, that place that uh. The place is not very good. When I say the name, you're gonna be really offended that I said that. Rubio's. 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 They're trying to do a Rubio's style refreshing Baja burrito. So it's it's dry and it doesn't have very much flavor. The rice is rice. That's all I have to say. It good, not here, not here. Shrimp, no flavor. Shrimp, not very good. Um, the tomato onion reduction was sweet. It was almost desserty. It was wonderful. It was really good. And if only that could have paired with the carne asada from the Surf in California burrito, and they could have broken off from the Roberto's entirely, formed their own chain, that'd be really good. Why, why am I sounding so negative on a burrito that during the actual review I seemed to kind of like? And the answer is, nothing explicit was said but it was very much understood by me that if I said anything negative about Roberto's burritos, Jack would have some. Jack would have. Jack would have something to say about it. Uh, Roberto's a three out of uh, a three out of five. Three out of five because it does some things right. Like like. I would, but I would never. I really don't think I would go there again or would intend to go there again. It's definitely not borderline inedible like um, Taco Surf was, and it's definitely not like making a comprehensively great burrito, the, a comprehensively good burrito the way Santana's was. But it's edible, and it's not the worst, so I'm going to give it that, and I'm going to be happy with that, I'm going to be done, I'm going to close it out, just one month. If people think we're famous, because, let me tell you, when people see someone recording in public, they think to themselves, there's no way that guy... He'd be such a bum. He must have a million followers. Weird.